Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, it's me, Lauren. Hello, hello, hello. So, in today's video, I thought it would be really fun to take you guys through my 52-week photo that I'm making for this week, um, which is why we have this strange backdrop, because this is my curtain to the closet in our bedroom. And I'm gonna use it for the picture, which is why we are here now. Hello. Welcome to my video. I'm gonna take you through the entire process. I need to get an image of my eyeball up close, and then I also need to get an image of a ripple in some water. So, and I'm just going to overlay the two images together in Photoshop so that it looks like the ripple is coming out of my eyeball. Not out of my eyeball, but that I'm laying underwater and this ripple is like on the surface of the water over me. I could attempt to actually do that all in a single image, but I think that will be a little bit too challenging to also film at the same time too. So I'm very excited. So I just need to get an up close image of my eyeball and then an image of a ripple. So I'm gonna take the photo of my face right now here and then I'm gonna go in, into the bathroom and just get a shot in the sink and I'll show you how I set it up. Um, so yeah, I hope you really enjoy this video. Be sure to leave a comment down below if you have any questions or critiques or any videos that you want to see from me um, or anything at all. If you're doing a 52 week project, if you're doing a 365 project, um, like, subscribe. Yes. Alright, let's do this. Hello, welcome to my bathroom. So I'm just going to use the sink because it's the easiest thing and I don't need the ripple to be super large. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this t-shirt that I have and just put it at the bottom of the sink so that I have a black background. Um, that will make it a whole lot easier to Photoshop um, on top of the other image. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And we'll see what happens. We'll see if it works out. <laughs> Okay, as you can tell, there's a whole bunch of reflections of us in the water. I was going to use a black blanket, and I was trying that out, but it was a lot of effort to lift up both my arms and then also try and push the button and then also try and make a ripple. So I think I'm going to actually use my... I'm going to use my reflector instead and see if that works. Okay, well I did all that to decide that I think I actually just like it better like this. Because then there's even more variation. So disregard literally everything I just said. I wanted to show you my setup real quick before I take it down because it's very precarious and I love it. <laughs> Here we go. Camera very precariously over. Okay, here we go. Here's the image. This is the one that I think I'm going to work with. I'm just going to do some basic retouching to get rid of some of the texture right here, get rid of this flyaway, get rid of whatever this is, and then we'll move from there.
And that's it. This is the finished product. I'm super happy with how it turned out. Obviously it would look more realistic if we actually photographed someone underwater, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it's a really good image. Um, and I'm really excited to share it with everybody. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something. And if you like the video, you can like it. If you want to leave a comment, you can leave a comment. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe. And that's it. I'll see you in the next video. See you next time.